opportunity for change is an opportunity to improve. You think you're learning about reptiles? No, you're learning about life. Oh, he already bashed my elbow. He doesn't like me, this guy. Bam, 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 bam. I got a fever. And the only thing that can cure it is making an amazing habitat for inking. Ah, good morning, everybody. How you doing? Um, you'll notice the lawn is mowed. The temperature has cooled off, which means that I start to get motivated in doing things. And I was thinking, man, I need more space, blah, blah, blah. We have a little time before friends at Custom Cages come help us with the blackthroat monitors. But look at what I got here that was just sitting off in my little bone yard that I have. This is kind of the off display area. It's not exactly sightly. However, I have this beautiful cage. Pinky used to live in it. Marty the Merton's water monitor used to live in it. It's perfectly fine. I'm probably gonna rip off all this old bamboo. Like that. Like right now. Like right now. Look, see, we just need to do a little work and I can dress this up again. But what do you say we... Call custom cages? Yeah, I hear ya. <laughs> this thing is, is beater to beat. But um, you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. And uh, I am gonna find a good use for this thing. So that's what we're gonna do today, maybe, if we can get this thing moved. It's just Matt and I, as always. And we have to come up with the way of brains over brawn to move this into a desirable location. Then we have to secure it, dress it up a little bit. But um, yeah, it's a nice size cage. I think this could be good um, for Inky or uh, Artie, the Argus monitor. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. So what I'd say is cue the time lapse. Let's, uh, let's get our fumbles away out of the way. Sound good? Sounds good. Okay, great, let's do it. Matt the caveman using his Stone Age cage technology. Man. Cage, cage man. man, the cage man, that's cage right. Man. Not a caveman, he's a cage man. We uh, use these fence posts to kind of help rotate it because as Matt had mentioned off camera, this uh, grass is like Velcro when you have the screening. So what I need to do now is obviously there's some cleaning up of this cage that needs to happen. But this is the kind of thing that's so important for you guys to know about because this cage was actually made from refurbished pieces of aluminum anyway. This was already a hand-me-down. It was once part of a large bobcat cage. So I just stored it. I do it my, I, I kind of dressed it up on my own. It lives again, which is great. You may even find someone throwing a cage like this out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull off all this bamboo, okay? This is all rotted bamboo, but the plywood, as you can see, is still good. Well, and we can put that on <coughs> new if we want. Yeah, we could, we could fix that up new if we want, but I can just rip this off. Every opportunity for change is an opportunity to improve. That's, God, you are full of some amazing self-help <laughs> quotes. And I, you know, you think you're learning about reptiles? No, you're learning about life. I'm hanging out with Nostradamus. Yeah, well. that's it, that's it. So anyway, I want to power watch all this. Uh, give it a good, you know, washing. Um, we're going to pull off a lot of these giant, uh, giant screws that were holding on this rotting bamboo and we're gonna you know try and make this cage as beautiful as possible and you guys know that's totally doable here you know we're gonna find some materials and try and get this thing rolling so uh this will be a really nice large cage for an animal to live in okay i guess what we're gonna do now is throw the time lapse back on right you don't want it all the minutia you want to see it get done so we'll get to that part <laughs>
day we are appropriately filthy, but this is cleaner than it was. Uh, what we have to do now is we're gonna measure it out and we are going to put the wire on the bottom. So my thinking is I'm not necessarily gonna make a foundation for this cage. Instead, I'm gonna try and level it off the best I can and we'll have some really nice wire on this. Uh, what I'll then do is we'll orientate it, it orient, orient it? Orient. Oh, orient it uh, to where we want it. Then we're gonna bring up the substrate level up. I, either I'm gonna take a bunch of mulch, we'll go get bags of mulch, which will be nice and easy. You know, probably 30 bags will get me to where I wanna be. And then that'll raise it up off the ground a bit. There'll be different platforms. We'll have wood, we'll have logs. So this is coming together pretty quickly. Um, of course, we are gonna need to decorate it a little bit more than it is, but right now, for a project that literally manifested about an hour ago, pretty happy, especially when I could rope in my good buddy, Matt, to roll a cage. I don't know if you know this, it's not round, it's square. So we look like the island of misfit toys. You know, it's a very accurate description. Meanwhile, I'm still thinking whether it's orient or orientate. Is it orientate? We'll have to check orient. on that later. You have to orient it like Orient Point, Long Island. What about orientation? Orientation is something else. Let us know in the comments below if you're an English major. OK, back to work. Let's measure and uh, we're going to cut up some of that stuff. Point at it. There you go. Show them what it is. Always good to have extra stuff hanging around. See us. Use. Okay, so you're starting to get the idea here, friends. Um, very simple. We have the main structure here. This is bent in a little bit. I'm gonna hammer it up a little. And then I'm gonna throw a few more, um, a few more, you know, uh, pieces of uh, security, or screws rather, into this so that we get it all dialed in. Remember, I stripped it back because all this bamboo was completely just worn out, rotted from sitting for so long. But the plywood underneath is still good. We've got wire underneath. Um, I'm gonna come up with a different way to decorate the border here, possibly going with that motif. I do have more telephone pole that I can cut at a small, like, you know, with my chainsaw, just cut it down here and just kind of stack it around. I think that might be kind of a cool way to go uh, with some free materials that I have. Um, but as far, that, that'll hide the border here all the way around, so that's good. Um, as far as hiding this, you know, these seams, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do. We could do fresh bamboo from what we cut down. Right. Uh, you know, but that may not ago. get done in this video. No. But um, <laughs> what I want to do is, you know, just have this become a functioning cage. This is a really cool uh, little project. We got bla basking platforms. I could take some of the flat uh, limestone that I have and I can place that on top of this so that when the sun hits it, it warms it up. I decided I think I'm gonna put inky in here. Throw a few branches in there? Yeah, throw some branches. I can get like a large enough water uh, water bowl. Or Will water you put that bowl. same half log that we built the heater pad in? You know, the, the little hollow. I out. could do that or I could do something different for this cage, but yeah, she'll have a heated area. We've got um, the 
you know, electricity. I'm pretty happy, man. I couldn't have done this by myself, so I'm glad Matt's here um, because this is gonna look cool, man. So I'm gonna power wash a little bit more. This should be quick. We're gonna move all this detritus over. And um, we're just gonna keep plugging away, friends, because I mean, this is a pretty decent sized project that we're kind of rolling right through. So I'm pretty happy. So, okay, let me uh, get the power washer going again. We'll spray both sides of this off just so that we have it looking um, a little bit more presentable. I think this is in line. We just need to lift up this corner here, I think. Okay. And then every, all the, all the lines will be square. Let me see how the doors work. Look at this. Oh, I got spray in here. Look at this. It's got some dirt. Yeah. So I can spray in here, but the door seems to be, we're square. I thought this was in much worse shape than it was when yeah. we restarted to dig it out. I was you were like, bummed. this yeah, is yeah. no. What no. am I doing? Yeah. Can but it looks good and it will look Come so on, much look, better. You need out. to spray the inside of the door too. Yeah, I'll spray all that. But like, so again, I'm kind of being very uh, quick with this. I didn't do a foundation. I didn't pour foundation, but Inky isn't going to stay in here forever. Uh, but it is a nicer cage with more sun. Get her out of there. Way larger. Area. What's that? Way, way larger, larger, way larger. You know, I could hang some plants, some more pothos will grow down. You know, I could put a temporary tub of water in here, but I, I can definitely make it look nicer if I talk to some of my friends at uh, Universal Rocks. They have some pretty cool small ponds. Uh, maybe we'd be able to get something like that. But again, you know, branches, I, I think she's gonna be a happy gal. Built-in security system. Yeah, exactly, we got all that stuff. So it's it's really good. We got cameras too, which I'm happy about. And it's good, it's six, you're able to t stand. It's six by six by seven, I yeah. think. Yeah, well, once I put the soil in, right, we're gonna raise that up. Because this does flood. But being that she is in fact, let's think about this. And she cannot get out through that fence. No, she can't get out, but here's the thing. We really don't need to do that. I mean, the grass is gonna go ahead and grow through this wire. So I can either leave this bear. She's too young to lay eggs. She's not gonna oh, lay really? eggs. Okay. Um, so she doesn't really need to dig so much. Um, but what we can do is when it does rain, this does flood. She'll have like more water to kind of hang out in. Um, I don't know. I may want to do some kind of um, substrate, but I don't know about lugging uh, gravel. And I or I don't think mulch. it's necessary with her. I think the mulch is fine. The grass is going to grow through the mulch. And if water kind of, you know, the wire is going to hold the mulch. If it does rain a lot, she's a water monitor. She's happy. If I put Artie in here, I'd have to do something about the, uh, the, the amount of water that we get because he's not an animal that really wants uh, to be in water too much, but she's a water monitor. As long as she does have a place she can haul out and be dry. The only thing this. I can see is that the, the cage, the fencing extends down to the plywood, but then the plywood is just plywood. So we have to make sure all of this is rock solid. Right, well, you know what I, you know what I can do? Because um, I was thinking about that. What can happen then is simply we can cut, we can take measurements and I can just cut strips of wire and we could tag wire here. You know, just kicking it now though, it actually was, it's much better than I thought it was. When right, but I mean, the reality the is, is we're dealing with monitors. We don't want these animals getting out into the environment. Um, it would take nothing for us to just do a strip, a stretch of uh, wire. See, then putting in the substrate would give you the visual you know, it would give you a floor. Even if we just put a, a, right, a, a two layer. inch layer of mulch. Exactly, so I don't have to really, I, it, there's no need for me to bring this up uh, too much because she is a water monitor. Well, the, another thing that I think would be prudent for me to do um, is maybe sink four posts, uh, four of those fence posts, and then we tack, we get them in the ground, and then we tack the cage to them. As, you know, if there's high winds, you know, we live in an area where there's hurricanes, we can kind of, get that down another thing i think i'm gonna do is well number one see these <laughs> these were cut don't let me forget these for these were cut cables. for well they were cut for um irrigation and uh i think she might be able to get out through something like that oh that's a big hole yeah sure. so i want to make sure i can i can actually crimp yeah, some more wire on that no problem i can easily look what else i can do friends check this out so we've got water going into uh chase and diamond's house okay so I can, I can easily just put a T here, bury it, or even come up. There's, there's wire up there. We can just 
suspended, probably underground would look underground the best. Looks underground would look the best, tack it in. We'll have water that will pour into her environment as well. So that's really cool. So we're gonna keep plugging away, man. I'm, I'm excited. This is, this is something I had, I wasn't motivated, and I woke up today, I was like, it's not that hot. Matt's coming up. How can we use Matt? How can we use Matt? <laughs> and um, yeah, so we're gonna pull all this stuff and we're gonna keep rolling along right till dusk. And uh, let's see how far we can get. Cool. As usual, ideas come to you in the middle of a project. And we looked at this, you know, we've got this really cool fence post. I've got a lot of it. And uh, Matt and I decided this would be a cool way to hide the bars, okay? The ugly bars, right? So we'll, we're gonna tie these together. Then we're gonna screw through and uh, this will hold them up. And then on the plywood bottom, we're gonna get our chop saw out. We're gonna chop a bunch of this and uh, we're gonna have a border made of this that will come from the other side and just tack in uh and one of them is going to be longer and that'll be our anchor point into the ground i'll dig a post hole one of these will cut this tall sink it way into the ground tamp it down and then anchor it to the cage so the cage will be uh completely anchored into the ground so high wind things like that it will not move but uh what we're going to do now is we're just this is kind of our decorative um in fact give me another here let me hold this real quick grab another one i want to just see something i have an idea these things come to you and you just got to act on them um this is what in my opinion becomes fun when you're yeah. decorating these things all right i'll trade you one of those oh he already bashed my elbow he doesn't like me this guy all right here we go so what if we did three around would that work that that it would be bigger that completely hides Okay, look, if you look at that, that completely hides the thing. It gives it a cool look, in my opinion. I mean, we just tie them together. That's very easy to do. And then we're going to cut one. There'll be a board. There'll be this guy over here. There'll be one in the middle. Okay. So we'll have one here. Okay. Three over there. And then we'll have a vertical. All right. I mean, a horizontal. Bam, 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 bam. And then cut shorter borders down the bottom. I think that'll look good. Hell yeah, that's gonna look awesome, man. All right, good, we got the materials, not spending any extra money. I got tons of screws, I got manpower, and uh, we're gonna document it all right now. So welcome to this freaking house. So what we're doing is we're making a lizard house today. And um, I measured it out over there on the verticals, on those posts. And uh, basically, you know, you got your uh, front door, your back door, and you got your vertical posts. So what I'm gonna do here is very simple. We're making a rustic design, all right? Now everybody's so silly, man. They're trying to make it like uh, finishing carpentry, but it's not that, it's uh, Look at this, see, 32 inches. You get your blade right down there, but you don't hit the blade because you cut your tape. And then uh, what you got there is a big freaking mess. So uh, me and Vinny and all my friend Paulie and everybody, this is how we do it. We get it done. We're making a rustic like um, Robinson Caruso out there. Here we go. <laughs> So now you got that piece, you got that piece in your hand, you just stand around there with that piece in your hand. All right, come on. Wait a minute. You know what you need? Always have, when you're doing lizard builds or any kind of rough carpentry, you wanna make sure that you've got a freaking hammer. All right, you gotta get a hammer. Cause hammers are good. It sounds like Christopher Walken, but uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna, 
This is it. Everybody like, yo, it looks so good. Yeah, it looks good, because you just do it really fast, you know? Hold on. I want to, uh, now we need to get some other screws to tie it all together. Hold on, I got my hammer drill. I got my screws. And again, people need to understand, don't overthink this stuff. A freaking lizard's living in here, man. It's a lizard. Don't overthink yourself. This is honestly how I spoke most of my life because I'm from Long Island, so I'm gonna keep it up. I'm like, you know how the crocodile hunter had an Australian accent? Yeah, well, Camp Cannon over here, we got a New York accent. Like all good people, you know, we finish up our life in Florida. It's Crocodile Dundee too, where he goes to the city. Yeah, well, this is, uh, this is Ken and Dundee saying to you, oh, I love it when it just connects like that, man. And what's funny is this is how, uh, my brother's talking. He's not my brother, Michael. This sounds exactly like This is my brother, like Danny. Brother. You want, this is me doing an invitation to my brother, Danny. So this is what you got to do. You got to go ahead. You take your, take your screw. Don't be an idiot. Take your screw and you put it right in. All right? Stop making it a big deal. Because all we're trying... This is decoration, man. I mean... Look at... Look. Now you got it. It's decorative. And it's up there. I love it. I got to tell you, I got a fever, and the only thing that can cure it is making an amazing habitat for Inky. First of all, I, I seem to have found a problem with the security of this cage. We've now gone to Christopher Walken. Yeah, I am. Um, this is what I do to entertain myself when I'm bored and alone. But I'm not alone. I have you and him. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a... We're going to put a screw in here with a washer that has a very flush head. Hang tight. I got all my fancy fluker jars. By the way, when you're done feeding your animals, the fluker uh, jars make fantastic screw holders. So uh, fluker really knew what they were doing when they put their food in those plastic jars. Oh, I love it. All right, now... Don't forget your hammer, kids. Most important tool you could own. When you got a hammer, everything looks like a nail. All right, here we go. Whether it's necessary or not, you're gonna use it. Yeah. Freaking look at that. Yeah. Now, there would be some of you that would go, eh, it's a little bit lower. That's what Matt, Matt's looking at. It's a little bit lower than he'd like, I think. But we'll-, we'll It has to be perfect. It's the lizard cage, man, so. We're gonna do this and then I gotta go pick up Leo. You're gonna hold it for me. Yeah, well, just, oh, shite. Uh, all right, just stay there. You start, you start it straight and then you tilt it. Oh, ow, that hurt. Yeah, I love it. You can let go, it won't, it won't hurt you. Might hurt me. Oh no, guys, look what happened. It's broke. Shank the bit.
So really love how this turned out. It's um, super easy, had the materials, took a little bit of elbow grease, you know, some bending over and cutting and screwing. And uh, it looks good, check it out. While I'm at it, I'm gonna pick up these washers. I think this looks so good. Yeah, I'm, And the I'm fact like, we were able to knock it out right now. I know, I love that. So good. It's yeah. all, it's leveled. Right, it's secured to the ground. Um, and we could I might put the mulch these in. tops. We're just gonna put some mulch in. And gotta be honest, I mean, if I had some branches and stuff, we're really hustling, man. This thing could be done very quickly. It's been what, three hours? I would say that, yeah, about three yeah. hours. Now I'm gonna take their water bowl, since they don't yeah. really need as much water, I'm gonna swap, swap it with a different one. Take that water bowl, put it in here after we get the mulch done. There's some fine tuning. Like I said, I just gotta put a T on the irrigation, dig a trench, sink it, water will spray down into that. I'm thinking this is a, a win here for Inky. Um, it'll be nice, this section, you know. This this here is um, giant bamboo. So eventually that will be probably a 20 foot in diameter comb of bamboo going about 100 foot in the air, which is actually from the same range as Inky. So pretty cool stuff. Love when that, that happens. So uh, we'll get sun from the south all winter long, directly overhead in the summer. Um, I may go to Home Depot and get another roll of this bamboo here and just roll it out on half of it. So half of it's shaded. So she's got a bamboo shade. There'll be a hide box, um, the mulch, which we're gonna do right now. So yeah, stoked. Let's throw the mulch Let's in. Let's do it. people we have got all the mulch in this is looking pretty good huh we mean all the mulch. yeah all 20 bags i wanted to really raise it on up but what's great about this is as i'm doing this the mulch is very warm it's decomposing it creates heat so on a cold night she'll burrow right into this mulch and stay warm very very convenient for me um i think it's perfect uh i don't actually think water will get high enough to really um, do anything, especially now we're coming into our dry season. Now look at how high this is. This is almost a, like, look at this. Yeah. This so the... I have to crouch a little bit, but again, this is going to settle and will decompose and it'll become soil. But uh, let's go over here to Chase and Diamond. Let's go over here because we have to go in and I'm going to, I'm going to remove their water thing. We're, oh, there's, there's a diamond. I'm going to remove their water. And I am going to, look at her just chilling. She's so beautiful. Oh, there she goes. Getting that late afternoon sunshine. I'll keep her occupied over here. You can grab the water bowl. Yeah, I'm just gonna pour that out. Cause I have a smaller one that I'll be able to use and maybe I'll get- Where is he? He's him? up in his house. Out. Where she's is coming. She's coming. She's coming. All right, yeah. Don't, uh, don't chase him right into me. She's going up and over like always. Uh, okay. Yep, you're good. Yeah, let's go ahead. I think this is going to be more conducive for water monitoring. It's going to be big enough, a uh, much larger water bowl for her. She's going to need it more than they will but I'll go ahead and replace them with a pretty good one that I have for custom cages. So let's go over here, this way. I'll meet you around. This is what happens when I tell him to go this way, but. Yeah, I didn't quite see your hands. <laughs> what I want to do is do a quick spray of this. Let's do a quick power wash. We'll power that out real quick. And then we'll be in good shape. I think we need to press that. <laughs> We're going to shut this off and I'm going to release the pressure, then uh, take this thing here 
Uh, there we go. All right, where shall we place it inside the new habitat? Let's go. I think under shade will be good, maybe in this corner. What do you guys think? Uh, she'll probably wind up hiding on that as well. Let's fill it up. My little inky. This is so much bigger than her current. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is awesome. So, I gotta be honest, we are really cranking here. I didn't think I'd be able to get this done, but I'm feeling pretty good right now. I think a um, couple of branches, some rocks. Maybe we wrangle up Inky. Looks so good. The outside looks so good. Now that the mulch has filled it up, it looks like a proper habitat. I love it. Okay, so we've got water. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this door. Each door has three latches. But leave that door open because we, we are going to do a few things here. We're gonna actually leave this open and let's go. Follow me. It's been a long day. It's all right, we're going to the bone yard. I might have some pieces that used to fit on those shelves. Uh, this is where, oh look, we got a couple of branches I could use right there. As long as we're not walking through poison ivy. I hope not. Uh, here, look, this is uh, what I was hoping to find. One of these. Okay. This can sit right on the top of that, um, of that uh, what is it called? Right on the top of the shell. Where the heck is the other one? There's some good flat ones here. Isn't it? There are some decent flat ones here. Why not? Not everything has to be uniform. We just want it to create some heat or absorb some heat so that she's got, you know, a way to thermoregulate, which is awesome. Oh, so it'll absorb the heat from the sun. Right, and then, and then she warm. can bask and raise her temps. This is kind of what I was thinking. I had other ones that fit perfectly, but clearly they must have disappeared. But they're heavy enough that she won't move them. Let me grab a couple more. I mean, that's all it is, is a rock. Yep. It's perfect. You look like you're coming out of the jungle there. That's uh, what I was hoping. Don't have my jungle hat though. Okay. Watch your head, you're a tall guy. Alrighty. Yeah, well, I think this one. I knew you'd change it. Came in back on. I like that one there. I can't believe how fast we got this to a usable habitat. Yeah. Or enclosure. Oh my God. So cool. I, I'll probably wind up finding a better rock and changing it out. But I'm now, never gonna recommend that we call custom cages again because I just got a five hour day of labor after that. Hey man, what are you talking about? Um, let's go grab one of these because I have an idea for that. This thing here looks like it would be a cool fish. It's got some oh, yeah. slimy stuff on it. But this is the best part, is the decorating yeah, with the real. Yeah, it's like awesome. when we did um, Lulu's. That was a long time ago, dude. That was over a year ago. Yeah. But look at that. How do you like that? That's sturdy. Back up. Oh yeah. Right EO. Looks great. We need like um, something going up, something coming down, and we can go get our girl. In fact, it's very possible that the branches that are actually in her habitat will work. So let's, let's. So I have one question. With how large this door is, will we be able to keep her in there and go in and out easily? Yes, because she will um, back up. Well, she's food motivated, so I'll have food Fair. when I open it. And uh, 
Yeah, but I'll have to be careful, of course. Let's go see what she's up to. We could have easily gone through the warehouse. <laughs> You're right, but this is much more scenic, don't you think? Yeah. Anyway. Much more Jurassic yeah. Park like. Yeah, more garbage. This is like the behind the scenes stuff. Look at this. Look at that. All I gotta do, I mean, I don't care if there are ants. I mean, that's cool, right? Let's grab this and this. You you grab this one. Yeah, oh yeah, the one with the ants all over, sure. What one? I'm grabbing the one with the ants. <laughs> Let's go through the warehouse. This is like driftwood. Oh God, these ants, look at them all over me. Freaking me out. I'm so freaked out right now. Come on. Welcome to the warehouse, everyone. It's this the bike the room. Cabin. This is the bike room, right here. Okay. If the ants make it to my armpit, I freak out. Ooh, thought that door was open. Ooh -ha, ooh -ha. Okay. Ow. Let's see. No, I don't want to use that one there. Oh, I got ants on my neck. Okay. I mean, what do you say, dude? I like it. I'm walking a lot. This is just cool kind of decoration. I don't know, maybe this lives on the ground. There's a screw sticking out that I gotta tend to. Like, that's kind of a cool branch. All right, let's keep going. Let's go see where she is. This is awesome. This is what I was hoping to get back to work doing. All this fun stuff. All right. Shout out to Specialized Bikes just because they got rad bikes. Uh, okay. Look at everybody. And you guys probably thought you wouldn't see any reptiles in today's show. Children! Yes, it's your father. I love you. Yes, I love my children. Yes, you babies. Mm -hmm. I love you. Okay. Yes. Everyone's hungry. Yeah. Look out! Pain in the move! Yeah. Keep up, Matt. Here's this lunatic. Just make sure you shut the, uh, the old door. Okay. Look at how much this has grown. I think she might be actually in her... You gonna barehand it? I thought you... No, she's fine. Oh, ooh. If you there could she just is. close she's it right in there. in there. Okay, what I'm gonna do is pull this out. Stay there, and Okay, we got that. She uh, found out the hole at your She face. could. I'm gonna sit on it. Oh, if she comes through that hole, you'll have a very interesting surprise. <laughs> I will. Um, do me a favor, can you grab that? That lid, just the lid. All right, but look what else we have here. We got this big branch. It's a little rotted, but still pretty cool. I think if I open this door, I can't believe we're actually moving Inky, man. Did not so think sick. that would happen today. So sick. But remember, we gotta fix the roof. Okay, I think this is how I got it out the last time. This is a nice branch though. It's rotting, but still usable, I think. It still has good bones. This branch has good bones. Let's put that kind of there. She pieced out. Okay, so he's been he's running right. all over the yeah, place. Yeah, he's not. But he's been chill with us. Yeah, well. Okay. All right. What do we do? We he's leave clear. her. He's clear. We, oh, you don't want to take oh, her because another, you have something look, to do with There's the, one of these, and there's the other one of those. That's where they went. Shazam. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I want to put this here. He'll. She'll stay in there. Let's open that gate. And we'll take this back out there and dress it. Oh, out. he's going to come. I'm going to 
close Shut it, it behind yep. you. I'm oh, sorry. I tried to close it too quickly. Watch your head. Okay. Watch out and go right where you are. Oh. <laughs> Dude. This is what Run happens down. when we get Runs out of space too quick. Actually, you did take up a lot of volume with that mulch. I, we were easily able to stand up in here before. Now it's not quite the same. I, mean, I think if I get a, um, a screw and go through the wall there. Right. Here, just hold it. You want to hold that for yeah. me? Sure. All right, I'm going to get a nice long screw. All right, I am hoping I want the real meat of this thing. I think the I meat of it, if you look at this. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. I, I'm right there. Am I hitting it? Yeah, kind of. Dead battery. That's fine. It, it, it's not held stiff, but. Let me see. That's fine. Yep. That's fine. I think we've got a uh, cage here, people. All right, let's see what it looks like now. Yeah, you got a piece on the ground. Oh yeah, look, a couple good pounds. That's pretty good. And then, did you want to put those new stone pieces in or leave? This looks good the way that it is, but. Well, maybe that last piece I'll yeah, place, yeah. but. But no, let's go get her and bring her in. And there's nothing else, there's no yeah, we, Oh, let's do this roof. Let's do yep, this. Yep. That's quite simple. Um, I need this. Fencing, the grinder. We could probably do it with one piece. Yeah, I think so. But now I just gotta quickly get these little, this is an awesome tool for marrying wire, using wire cages, just hog ring pliers, C clamps, and then these little. And they're pretty easy to get off if you have to. Yes. Pop them back out. So what we can do, can we get away with it? Yeah, yeah we sure. did it, we did oh, it. Oh, yep, yep. We did it, all right, I might have to kind of step on up, so. The door by the warehouse? Well, I might be able to just, what you want to do simply, guys, is this. Boink. Let me get on the other side. Are we covering both holes? Yes, you are. Uh, is there a place I can, if you can pull, no, no, you, you got to pull. Wait, what about right here? to this. These two. Yep, that'll work. Am I cut? Did yep. it connect? Yep. All right. Then you want one between this and this, if you can get it. Where now? If not, you'll have to just do these two. Yep, that'll work. Press down. Yep, you got it. All right. Now let's get back on the other side. Here. And yep. And here. Here. Sure. And over there. And that is sealed up. Are you guys excited? Are you as excited as I am? Boom. Done. Okay. It is done. Let's go get so, our lady. Okay. We got her in the rock here. This is pretty cool, man. It looks good over there. Just a little elbow grease, some imagination, and we turned an old cage into a really functioning, nice new habitat. Looks great. I'm happy. Okay. What we'll do. I think he's in there, right? Oh yeah, I hope yep. so. Come on in. We're gonna shut this. one thing I didn't think Here about. We go. No, we're good. Yeah, I'll have to get, I'm gonna put the padlock on, I'll have an indoor latch, and this is great because I'm gonna be able to sit with her. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? I have some little rats thawed out. Yeah, you do, they're right by the fridge. I'll take this, go grab them. I'll be right back here. Uh, I'll just hang here and wait for you before we get her out. So yeah, really stoked, man. This is an awesome habitat. What we can do is while we're waiting on our buddy, Matthew, let's grab this. I'll chuck it down here for now. Take this one and put this one up here. I think would look good. Look at that, like a glove. All right, 
She's got plenty of places to hang out, climb on, bask here. We're gonna put half bamboo up here. Uh, it's gonna just evolve, but we got a nice water dish. I'm gonna get another one of these to put it back so we're uniform. My friend Stuart at Universal Rocks will definitely help me out with that. Um, we got the mulch, she can burrow into it. It's secured, we've secured this whole thing. Let's do a double check. Yep, it's looking pretty good. I don't see anything that causes me any grave concern here. Just checking things. I'll throw another nail in there, but I mean, it is dialed. And it would be got good if food. you had a handle on the Yeah, we need a handle. I've got yeah. one. Here, like, uh, you just have to pull. There yep. you go. All right, bud, take over. So we've got, let's not open that pack. We don't need to. No, we don't need to open that pack, but I have these. Yeah, yeah. And what we can do is we're going to put her, we're going to put this down. She'll oh. smell these immediately, right? Well, I think so. But I want to give her some food oh, in her new right. house. She wouldn't come out. Let's maybe. Let's see if she's. No way she doesn't smell that. Well, <laughs> she's also had a lot going on. That's more a comment on the smell of the rats. Oh, she got it. Let her eat that one and we'll entice her out with another one. So this is really fun. This is so cool. See, we're actually inside the enclosure with her. Come on, Inky. I'll tell you what, I might be able to just open oh, this yeah, section. Oh yeah, open the bottom. Oh, should I get over there? No, you're fine. There we go. You guys can see her. She might have gotten scared. No, she's chilling, she's coming out. She's testing it with her tongue. She's looking. She can yeah, sense that scared. she's in a new spot. Look at my girl, she's gotten so big. Look where you are. So Look where you cool. are, Inky. Where are you? Hey. There you go. There she is. She has no idea where she is. Don't I know. It. No, that won't hurt her. Yeah. It's so cool. Wow, she already had got one down and put another one down that quick. Yeah. Definitely a food motivated individual. Yeah. I mean, aren't they all? Good lady. Come on, lady love. Look how big she's gotten, guys. Isn't she awesome? Can you believe we got this done? We we just a few hours ago there was nothing, nothing here. here, man. Look at her checking things out. That is awesome, bro. That's cool. She's got two and she's still looking around. Now she knows she's not in in her usual spot. I think what I'll do is take this. Yeah, she wants to. She's like, what is this all? Where am I? This is so cool. I cannot believe that we got this all done in like, what, four or five hours? Pretty good, man. Yeah, I can get her. She's beautiful. Look at her checking things out. Awesome, man. And we're near the climbs, so she's not gonna, she could climb up the cage. So. 20 bags of mulch. Yep. <clears throat> Probably 25 fence posts. Couple that, logs, couple pieces of stone. Yeah, I know. All stuff I had laying around. This was a really good day. It looks great. We've opened up a cage. Um, Maybe we can put the bamboo on this and yeah, we, we'll do all sorts of stuff. But I just want to get the bulk of it done today, and I think we did it. I think this is a acceptable habitat for her. So she's going to be like this for a while, checking things out, wanting to go exploring, but. But how interesting is it that we have not ever been in, oh, well, me, I've never been inside right. with her, and, and so I don't think you have either. You bring up a good point. So this is really going to start to change our dynamic. When I can come in here and feed her, when I can come in here and be around her, she's going to get more accustomed to me. Instead of me reaching into a habitat, I am now fully in it with her. Um, you'll notice a change in her um, attitude, but she is a gorgeous animal. And basically what we're gonna do is just allow her, we're gonna step out in a little bit and we're gonna allow her the opportunity to explore this before dark. She does have a familiar piece of hiding area. I'll probably pull it back into this corner. I'll keep this side facing the service door um, so that, you know, it, it's gonna look good from the front. In fact, why don't you go ahead and sneak out right now? We're gonna kinda get out of here and allow her the chance to just relax. We're gonna pull this out. And I'm gonna go ahead. There's and still another rat there. Yeah, we'll leave that there. For her. I'll put this right here, and I'm gonna get out too, and we'll look from the front. Checking the boundaries. Go. 
God, she is so, look at how much better you can see her from over here. I don't think yeah. I've ever really seen her look whole her. body all at once. I'm going to get some plants too. We'll get some pothos. I'll have the sprinkler system set up. It'll drip into the water. That water will overflow. It'll clean itself out. But you see that tongue flick? She's really just investigating this new, oh, she got to be a whip there. She's just investigating everything right now. Um, I do really, tomorrow I'll probably just go to my local home supply center and I'm going to just get a nice roll of bamboo that I can roof. just roll out on top of this. It'll look so cool. For permanent or temporary? Uh, half of it, for half of the roof because it'll provide some shade because right now this roof right. is completely open. Um, so I'll, I'm gonna wanna do, is she whipping? Yeah, she's, she's Look at how gorgeous she is. I, I will be honest, I've never seen her other than cold storage, removing her from cold storage, or when it was cold. Yeah, <laughs> the warm storage, if you cold. will. Yeah. Um, I've never seen her like full, cause she's always hidden by the leaves like yeah. in nature. Well, I might dig some of those leaves again, or some of those plants. I might dig out of her old enclosure and plant them in the mulch and right, see what right. happens. But uh, come on over here. Let's look from the front. Um, look at this. I mean, Matt, thank you so much. What a big help. Your ideas, everything. I mean, this is so cool, guys. So this is the beginnings. You know, we're going to, we got this beautiful bamboo is going to grow up here. We got these two guys. It's the corridor of monitors, you know, um, here on our little tour. Um, but again, this this cage, this can stay here. But if I have to remove it, it is semi-permanent. Um, I think it's in good shape. I love what we did with this uh, landscape timber, or rather the uh, fence posts. Yeah, that looks so good. Yeah, love it's just a cool rustic thing. I'll break all this down and clean up. And But it's fun just to sit back and look at your creation. It's something I haven't done in a few months because of the hot, hot weather here. And the other cool thing is, uh, the, the croc monitors will be able to see her. She'll be able to see them. Um, but if she wants to get away from them, we do have visual barriers. And we kind of kept a similar motif as we have between the two with the fence posts. Maybe I'll pull out my old torch, kind of torch some of these Ooh. fence posts and uh, make them black like um, the cage here. So uh, yeah, just a good time. So there you have it, people. Let me know what you think of Slinky's new home. No, not Slinky. Oh. You're right, Inky. Inky's new home uh, here at the camp. What do you think? Do you guys think uh, we did a good job today? Let me know. I'm pretty happy with it, but I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. Thanks for watching. A lot of work today, but we had a good time. Thanks to Matt, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks to Inky. There you go, Inky. Get big, kid.